Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you MIDI controlled transport control in Reaper. Now, most MIDI controllers made these days have transport buttons right in the front. So we want to use these to be more efficient. As we're playing a keyboard, we can control functions like play, stop, record, rewind and fast forward without going back to our computer keyboard. We could do it all on our MIDI device. And most of the companies that make these MIDI controllers create patches or drivers that work with your DAW, but they don't always create them for Reaper. But that's okay. And in fact, it's even better because we can change the function of each one of those buttons. We're not going to be stuck with the default. So let's start by going to the preferences. Under options, choose preferences, and go down over here to MIDI devices. Find your MIDI device over here. I'm using the M Audio Axiom 49, but this is going to work with any MIDI controller or any MIDI controller that has transport buttons. So let's choose it, right click it, and make sure we turn on to enable the input and also enable control messages. It's very important we choose this, otherwise, it's just going to record MIDI notes, not the control messages that we need. For doing transport functions. So choose this one as well. Hit OK. And now we're going to go to the Actions menu. Right here, show the list. And in our filter, right here, let's type in Transport. That'll show us all the actions that have Transport in their names. Right here. So the first one we want to set up is Play. Now, depending on your controller, you might have a separate play and a stop button, but some controllers just have one. So that'll affect which one we choose. So let's start off with the basic. The space bar on Reaper is going to do play and stop with the same button. So let's set that up first. We'll click this, go down here to add, and this opens up where we can input our controller information. So I'm going to go to the MIDI controller and hit my play button. And when I do that, it changes to the control message that we need. In this case, MIDI channel 1, continuous controller 24. Again, yours might be different. But keep in mind, you have to keep your MIDI controller set to the same MIDI channel that you originally choose. If we change it to MIDI channel 2, the transport functions are no longer going to work. So now we can hit OK. And if I hit that button on my controller, it plays my track. And if I hit it again, it stops the track. So it does both functions with one key. But if you're like me and you have a separate button, we could separate it. We can go down here and delete this and set it up over here for transport play. Hit add, hit the play button on the controller, and it puts it over here. So now if I hit that button, it plays the track. But if I hit it again, it starts over. It doesn't stop. So what I want to do is set up a separate stop button. So let's go down here to transport stop. And this time hit the stop button on the MIDI controller. That's MIDI channel 1, continuous controller 23. So now if I hit the play button, it plays the track. Hit the stop button, it stops the track. Now if you want different functionality for that play button, let's go back. Let's delete it. And let's choose this one instead. Play pause. This is going to change that functionality. So we hit the play button, it plays the track. But if we hit it again, it pauses it. Giving us a few more options with the same amount of buttons. So let's choose this, hit add, hit the play button. And now if we hit play, it plays our track, hit it again, it pauses it, hit play again, this time hit stop, it goes back to our edit cursor. Play, stop, 
for play, hit it again for pause. So it gives us three options with two buttons. Let's add a few more. Let's go to the record button. Right here, hit the record button on our controller. Control number 25. Now, if we go into record, it records right over it. Hit stop, it stops it, or we could punch in. Start from here, hit play, go into record, hit it again to punch out, and do it again, punch in, punch out, as many times as we want. Now, my controller has a loop button right down here. Turns looping on and off. We could do that from a button. So go down here to toggle repeat, hit add, hit that button, control number 20. Now I can create a loop for this one bar, turn it on by hitting that button, and then it loops. Or I could hit that button again and it turns looping off. And it plays right through. Now I also have two more buttons, rewind and fast forward. And there's many options to trigger that. Let's go up here. We could choose this one to fast forward a little bit. Or down over here, to rewind a little bit, or we could do it based on beats or bars. So let's go to the transport and type in back, and we could choose this option right here. Move edit cursor back one beat, which does this, goes back one beat, or we can go back one measure right here. We could also choose no seek. So if we hit play and choose this option, it doesn't reseek. The track keeps playing. But we could choose this option instead, and it's gonna seek. So it goes back. Every time we hit it, it goes back a beat and reseeks. So we could choose based on our needs. I'm going to choose back one measure and it's going to seek. Hit add, hit the rewind button. Now, if I hit play, it plays the track, hit rewind, it goes back and reseeks. Because we chose the option back one measure and we didn't choose no seek. We chose this one instead. Hit play, hit rewind, it goes back a measure, but it doesn't reseek or start playing again. We're gonna go back to this one. And do the same thing for the fast forward button. Type in forward, move edit cursor forward one measure, hit the fast forward button. And now we can close this, hit play, fast forward, rewind, record, stop. And now all our transport buttons are working. So I can play, fast forward, rewind, loop, or record without going back to the computer keyboard. We could do it all on the MIDI controller. So that's pretty much it. That's MIDI controlled transport control in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.